what's up everybody welcome to george reviews i am an 80s transformer fan i'll be your host for this video today i'm going to be taking a look at mcfarlane toys dc multiverse superman now this is the first superman i believe we got in this line i purchased this figure almost a year ago um let me tell you a little story when i do my reviews i always try to drop in a little story because we all share similar stories to toys um when McFarlane first got the license, I was upset because of the way he does figures. I think he his style is more suited to more gothic toy lines. And DC is pretty much, until the DCEU, is pretty much a, a happy-go-lucky uh, universe. And I, sometimes I think he takes his stylization a little bit too serious. And when they first dropped Superman, Superman is my favorite fictional character, period. Uh, Superman is my favorite guy. DC is my favorite universe over Marvel and anything else. So um, I was not happy when he got the line, and then some of the figures came out. I'm like, ah, he bumped up the scale. I'm like, man. Ah. Then I saw Superman on the shelf, and he was cool. And But the two things, because you can see the, the figure completely within the package. The two things I didn't like when I saw the figure. I was like, why is the chest metallic, and there's no other metallic on it? Why do you put make the, the S on the chest metallic? And then the cut of the abdomen right there i did not like so i passed on this figure a few times grabbed it didn't bother reviewing it just put it in the collection because i wanted to be in on the beginning of the line before figures you know you decide to get in on the toy line and the figures are skyrocketed but he has milked this thing and released this figure so many times uh and two packs and everything else and re-releases but anyway here it is in front of us here is this packaging window box packaging he comes with two extra fish you can see his accessories you can see the figure stand in the back right there you see dc mother versus superman ages 12 and up right here um nothing special on the sides it says superman multiverse uh superman action comics number 1000 i guess this is appearance and there is his appearance from action comics number 1000 and it doesn't that s isn't quite no not matching but we get it uh-huh cape blowing in the breeze daily planet back there some of the other figures that were available in that wave i think these are this is the artwork for the figures available in that wave there was the bass cycle uh my eyes are bad i think that's the joker who laughs uh batman and super batman thinking i hadn't seen that in store in a long time superman right there and that's what we got and we're going to get superman open unbox superman i started doing the movie figures and i figured i might as well start getting these i got a ton of these guys start getting these figures out of the way knocked out superman out of the pack and he can stand up in his clamshell Here's the, and nothing more in the box. This is the inner packaging. He comes with a collector's cart and a flight stand that I've seen before. Let's get Superman free. Same artwork from the back of the box and probably from that comic book cover. Superman 1000. Here is his flight stand and just figure stand overall. Put that over here. Collector's cart again. Flipping this thing over. It says... Superman Action Comics number 1000 picture yet again. Data file source Action Comics 1000 2015. Real name Kal El Clark Kent. Adoptive name. Height six foot three. Weight 235 pounds. Sent to Earth from the dying planet Krypton as a baby. Cal L was found by farmers Martha and Jonathan Kent and raised as their own son, Clark. As Clark grew up, the radiation from Earth's yellow sun gave him extraordinary power, which he kept hidden. Now fully grown, he uses his powers to protect his adopted world as Superman. The Man of Steel is virtually invulnerable and has powers of super strength, super speed, has flight and, and flight. He also has... Enhanced senses, including heat, x-ray vision, and super hearing, and super breath. Well, that is his car, and again, we learned nothing new, but there's some people new to the game with this stuff. Let's get Superman out of the package. I hate that they stick the tape through the back. And that make it hard to get out. One of the fists fell out. I might as well take the other one out. He has interchangeable hands. So let's check out Superman. Little plastic residue. And he has the hard plastic cape that is molded. It actually is molded in an awesome position. 
Also, it's like multi. It's like it can be just blowing in the breeze or he's flying full on. Looks pretty cool. But I always prefer cloth capes on my superheroes. Now, let's see if we can get this guy to stand up. It's always kind of difficult for fresh action figures out of the package to stand up. Then this cape, the uh, hard plastic cape doesn't um, help because it tends to pull the figure backwards. Yeah, and I'm having a bit of a time. I got him standing up, but he's leaning forward. It is not pretty. Right, I got Superman standing up, but he's leaning forward. It is not pretty. And I, I'm, I'm assuming it's because of the weight of the cape. Maybe I can work the ankles a little bit more. And when you got just a straight up action figure and, and like you pose these guys on your shelf, um, you really want the guy to be able to stand up. And then you got other guys standing next to him and he takes a tumble, takes out the entire shelf. That sucks. Like um, the main test these figures should pass is a standing test. But I got him standing. So there he is out of the box. Bring him forward. And one thing I don't like in the modern, the more modern Superman takes, they drop the yellow S on the back of the cape. Uh, but this is the version that maintains the trunks, the outer, people say the outer underwear. But this is like my favorite version, the version I grew up on. I like the one uh, that he's not wearing, the big old onesie. And let's take a look at Superman. Very traditional look to Superman. You can recognize it from the comic books very easily. has a little curl to the front of the hair. He has a little touch of blue, like that comic book black. They would add like a little splash of blue to highlight like the greasiness of the hair. And it looks very awesome. Has a slight part on this side. Looks great. The head's turning back. It's resisting. Yeah, that's not good. Let's see if his head pops off. I wonder if it... I see the peg in there. All right, it's, it's not. I can see it, but it's not popping off. But it's not giving me all that. Okay, I got it. I got it loose. So I can get it to turn. It will 360, I guess. I'm just kind of sticking a little bit. And he has blue eyes. Superman is known for his blue eyes. It's done well. The whites of his eyes done well. He has a very good um, Superman comic booky look to him. Looks great. Has the giant Superman S, which I do like. I'm just wondering why they chose to make it metallic and there's no other metallic on him. But it does actually look good. There is some fabric design in his costume. It's just not a giant onesie. There is some fabric design in his costume worked in there. I don't think those are veins popping through his suit. Looks pretty good coming down to his super belt. That paint app could be done just a little bit better. There's a little bit of bleed. Just a little bit. The trunks, the knees, the boots love the boots like i said i hate the ones he loved the red boots I, when it's all one color all the way down it's just not as super many to me and the cape it is a a little bit soft plastic it's not very soft but it's softer it's not as soft as the um the cape on the snyder cuts black suit superman like this feels like soft plastic superman from the snyder cut felt like rubber and the back of Superman, his trunks, underneath his feet. And so let's run down his articulation. I've already played with his head. And like it's, it's like really stiff. I'm like, which joint's holding it? I hope it doesn't pop off and hung up in there. He can look up this far. And he can look down this far, which is great. Some side to side motion out of Superman's head. Coming to his shoulder. We can get his arm up this far to one side. Then rotate it to a 360. He has a, a butterfly hinge right here, oddly enough, which is kind of cool. So I guess we can get his hand across his chest a little bit more. Superman can dab out. Has a bicep swivel right there. And he has an elbow bend, standard elbow bend right there. And a wrist swivel. There's a little ball in his wrist. Um, we get any up and down. Yep, we get some up and down out of it. And it rotates. So we can get some good articulation out of that. His midsection, he can rock back that far, come down that far. I think that's some of his waist giving in right there. And it should, 360, yeah, you can get it around. And coming to his waist, you get that same 360 out of his waist. It comes forward, and he's back, go side to side. Yeah, he definitely has a fabric sculpt 
to his outfit. It's just not one big baby suit. <laughs> Some fabric sculpted in right there, which is very nice. And as far as his legs, you can get that front leg up this far to the front. Back leg can kind of come back far. The little trunks in the The little trunks in the back aren't really giving in that much. It's a harder plastic under there. But he can get this much out of it. And to the size, he can get a whole lot. He, his range is way beyond the Snyder Cuts Black Suit Superman that I previously reviewed. And the ratchets sound pretty good. And let's see if we get a thigh swivel. We got a little bit of a thigh swivel. Not a whole lot. I mean, this is fresh out of the pack. It might be able to do more, but... That's all I'm getting right out of here. And his knee sculpt's a little broke up, but it's molded in there pretty well. It's a double hinge knee. We can get that out of it, and might as well go down to the foot and get that out of it. Coming back to the front, there is no boot cut. He won't turn at the, uh, the hinge. He won't turn at the shin. Uh, coming to his foot, you can see the big old ball joint right there. and get this much range out of it. And... And it rotates. No real rocker that I can feel. I mean, I'm pushing on it. I'm not getting a real rocker. And the toe hinge out of there. I learned and when Toy Biz was making the Marvel Legends back in the day. The toe hinge, while cool, it really, really can't get anything out of it unless you, are, uh, you have a running guy. Not, not a whole lot out of, out of that position in the toe hinge. I think it's like, like overkill. It's kind of like showing off the articulation. But man, the Superman is pretty cool. So let's check out his interchangeable fist. He has a like a open sort of gripping type fist right here, and then he has the closed fist, and I think that's perfect because you just might want to have your Superman hold something. You never know, catch one of the woman's lasso or take the hammer from Thor. You just might want to do something with your Superman. So let's check that out. See how easy they come off. I'm just gonna give it a slight pull. Came off pretty easy. There's the peg right there, the fist. I'm going to take the right hand, slide it on with no problem at all. No problem at all. It, it's, it's secure enough and easy enough to remove and articulate and take off. And, man, that looks great right there. Really does. I'm loving this little figure. I'm really enjoying this figure so far through this review. Man, I should maybe should have opened it a long time ago. And one thing, um, just like with the other Superman I reviewed from the Snyder Cut, I um, wish the head came up further where he's flying so he can kind of look right at you. you got to kind of hold it to get that. But the mold of the cape actually suits the standing position and the flying position very well. Speaking of flying position, let's go for the stand. And I made the mistake before of putting the back of the stand on first and couldn't get it off in a previous review so we're going to use it as a figure stand first it has dc on it, it's clear plastic um we're going to get superman's foot right there okay let's get superman's foot right here come on soups on the damn stand And here he is on the stand. He's ringing back for some reason or whatever on this stand. And having to play with his joints. Well, that is Superman on the stand. And we can switch it to flight mode. Just take this piece right here. Slide in right there. Snap in. Raise up this little piece right here. Oh, we don't have to raise it up. Oh, maybe we do. Um, raise it up to this position here. We got the cape over it. Lock it in on Superman's waist. And we can lean him. And again, can't really get that head up to look forward as he fly but it's cool they gave a flying figure a flying stand so you don't have to go for a third party some companies 
will actually uh, sell you their own flying stand and not package with the toy too. So McFarlane does a lot of cool things, like with their builder figure. Like you don't have to buy seven, eight figures for little tiny parts of builder figure to builder figure. McFarlane will sell you a large scale builder figure with four, maybe five guys, and you've completed the figure, which I think is very cool. We need a lot more of that in a toy game. All right, before I move on to my size up and run down, I want to get a scale, a height on Superman because I don't deal with this scale too often. And Superman is right at seven inches. I probably don't have the angle right, but he's right at seven inches tall. All right, to kick off the size up and run down, I'm going to bring out the DC Snyder Cut Black Suit Superman. And these guys don't share anything, which I'm actually disappointed in. Like, uh, I know the movie body is different than the toy body, but I was hoping to be able to put these hands on this guy since he didn't come with any extra hands. But you can't pop these hands off. I kind of missed that in his review. You, you can't pop his hands off and add other hands, which actually kind of sucks. But two totally different guys. This one stands a little bit taller than this guy, actually. You can clearly see he is bigger. And one more time, here he is with the 2021 Snyder Cuts Black Suit Superman. Here he is with fellow multiverse figure Flash. Here he is with former license holder Mattel Classic Superman. Here he is with Transformers Generation 1 Optimus Prime. And last one, Marvel Legends Gladiator. All right, so after reviewing this figure, my opinion has changed drastically. I actually like this figure. Same thing happened with the Flash. Like, I really like, I like this better than the Snyder Cut Black Suit Superman right here. Actually, it looks like my uh, Superman that I grew up with, Superman from the comics. He has, like, the little curl right here that is, like, a separate piece. It's, like, softer, and it's plugged in to the rest of the hair, which looks great. I actually like it. The only negative thing about the actual physical toy is that neck bouncing back when you try to turn it. That's pretty much it. Um, I wish the arms kind of rested a little bit better at his size. He kind of has this gap in there at all times. but And he could have used the boot cut. But other than that, he's a really cool figure. He, I mean, he's Superman. Superman is back. I was doubting McFarlane until I started getting my hands on these figures. Then I was buying them and not reviewing them. But now... Um, all it takes is one figure that I just got to open and, and start to get me rolling. And I learned a lot about toys. As much as I've collected, I'm still learning about toys. He has great cuts to hide the um the articulation to make it look good when it's at a resting position and you're not using the articulation. Everything looks good. Um, even when you pull this back, it fits in there really good. I kind of didn't like that. Like looking at it in the box, this little cut right here. And I wasn't a fan of this little metallic on the S. But, man, I have changed my mind in this review. I really like this figure. He's still hanging around on the shelf. He's packaged with Bat Doomsday, Doom Bat Day, or whatever. You know, they have repurposed this guy a few times, so he's not going anywhere anytime soon. So if you haven't grabbed him, or if you do have him, you know what I'm saying. But if you haven't grabbed him, uh, he's a pretty good pickup, especially uh, I got him for 15 bucks. Yeah, and I don't know if I mentioned it, but I got mine on clearance. Uh, he was on clearance at Walmart. I got him and Batman. I think they were like twelve ninety nine. I grabbed them on clearance. And that's another reason I, I, I grabbed the guy. I don't think I put it in my story earlier. But got him at, at for twelve nine thirteen dollars at Walmart almost a year ago. It was coming up on the holidays, and I was like, why not? And grab, grab him, grab Batman. Got a few guys, so I guess I'll be pumping those guys out soon. So if you like this review, more to come. Thank you for watching this episode of George Reviews. My reviews are the reviews where every toy has a story.